Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. This is the Wacom Link. What is it? It's a cable and box that connects this, the Mobile Studio Pro. It turns this computer-based tablet, there's a computer inside it, it turns this tablet into a screen for a Mac or PC, whatever your separate computer is. Basically, you're gonna have one cable from the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro into this box, and then two cables, I believe, from this box into the Mac. So let's go ahead and unbox it. It says Wacom Link here on the front of the box, and on the back you can see it's just got a list of the things that come inside it. The USB cable, a mini disport, a mini disport, a mini display port cable, USB-C, and the Wacom Link itself. So let's go ahead and get it out the box. I don't have a very elegant way to unbox this to do. Come on. Ah, where's the knife when you need it? Okay, done. So Wacom Link, it did take a long time, but they did finally release it just before Christmas. I'm unboxing it a little bit after Christmas because I just simply didn't have time before Christmas. Just chuck that somewhere. Oh, this is much, much smaller than I was expecting. I was thinking that this was going to be a really, really large black box that you have to carry around with you, but it's actually very, very small. Just Take it out of the plastic. Have a look at that. Very nice. Says Wacom on the front. The USB-C again there on one side. Mini display port and USB-A on the other side. And that is all there is to it. It is model INF-A123. If that means anything to you. Let's check out what else we get inside the box. Just in case they were saying that it comes with cables that it doesn't. But it does. It comes with all the cables that they promised. Ooh, this is nice. A very small USB-C to USB-C cable. I, as yet, don't think I've ever had one of these. And I guess you just plug that into the box like so. So you can basically leave this connected permanently. You don't need this box if you have a computer with USB-C that comes out of it. This is an older MacBook Pro which only has USB ports and Thunderbolt mini display ports on it. What I need is this box in order to connect it to the Mobile Studio Pro, but if you have a laptop that has USB-C, then of course you don't need this box at all. Oh, there's instruction manuals in here as well. Chuck the box. Essentially, it just says plug it in and it should work. Now, this is actually really interesting. People have been asking this online, I think, and they want to know whether you can plug it into any of the USB-C ports, and you cannot. You must plug it into the middle of the three USB-C ports. So as you can see on the Mobile Studio Pro here, there are three USB-C ports, and you'll have to plug it into this middle one here. So let's go ahead and try it. Now also, interestingly enough, it doesn't say whether you have to turn the device off in order to use this, so I'm just gonna try leaving it on and see what happens. So I've just plugged in USB-A and Thunderbolt on one side and USB-C on this side. I will now plug this into the computer over here. And let's go ahead and plug it into the Mobile Studio Pro and let's see what happens. Not very confident that this is going to work because I feel like it needs to be off. All right. Do your magic. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Oh, I hear the fan. Oh, the screen's changed over here and the screen's changed over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is exciting. This is very exciting. So, for the first time ever, I am seeing Mac OS X on, oh, it says, do you want to calibrate the pen? Say yes. This is the first time I'm running my Mac on the Mobile Studio Pro. It seems to be working fine, but obviously it will need some calibration. Tap the center of each target as it appears. Interestingly enough, this is the old calibration software, so I have a feeling that this will need a Mac driver update. And check it out! I'm able to use my Mac as, as I was able to use a Cintiq. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan is definitely blowing. I don't really understand why the fan has to blow as loud as this, just to run in Cintiq mode. Also, the screen has noticeably become a bit smaller, so I think it's running natively at 2550 or whatever the resolution, the QHD resolution. And I would prefer if it would run at a scaled resolution, but I don't know if that is possible. This is running- oh! 1080p works, but it looks obviously a bit blurry. I don't think this is the optimal resolution for this. If I put it on default, yeah, it just goes to 25, 2560 by 1440. Let's go ahead and run Clip Studio Paint and let's just see how the software is looking. Obviously, again, the display is quite a bit smaller than you may be used to, but it works perfectly. I've got, I've got all my pressure sensitivity. Excellent, excellent. 
I'm feeling like performance is identical to what I was experiencing on Windows. I feel like technically speaking, Windows, uh, sorry, Mac OS X should be able to run with less delay, less pen delay than on the, on Windows, but I, again, this is not an in-depth test. This is just plugging it in for the very first time just to see whether it works. Actually, maybe it is a bit faster than Windows. I don't know, I'll have to do an in-depth test in the future. But for now, you can see that the Wacom Link does work straight out of the box. I didn't have the device off, I just had it already on. Plugged it into the middle USB-C port. Two cables into my MacBook Pro over here. One last thing I want to try, Photoshop. Now, why do I want to try Photoshop? Well, I want to see whether the tilt still works. All right, been trying for a few minutes here and basically I can't figure out how to get tilt to work. Maybe it's just a driver update or something that I haven't figured out. I'll have to do that in a separate video, but for now, I can't figure out how to make tilt work, but I was able to make pressure sensitivity work just by clicking on the little icon here. You are able to get pressure sensitivity. Seven. Blech. Pressure sensitivity. Well, anyway, okay, my first impressions are yes, this is a good thing that you can plug it into your Mac or a separate PC and use it like a Cintiq, but I don't understand why tilt isn't working, so I'll have to check that out. And secondly, the fan is running. And it's interesting because even in Windows, when the device is idle or when you're not doing any intensive work, the fan is silent or very, very quiet. And I would say that the fan is kind of on medium right now, even though it's doing nothing but showing me the screen from a different computer. So that's a bit disappointing that it can't run silently, but I, I kind of knew that was going to be the case. Pretty sure that was the case with the Cintiq Companion as well. Pretty sure that the fan had to run in Cintiq mode. A bit disappointing, especially if you want to work silently with the Cintiq 13 HD or with the new Cintiq a, uh, Cintiq Pro. I believe that those devices are going to be very, very quiet, but I haven't tested the Cintiq Pro, so don't quote me on that. But at least on the Cintiq 13 HD, dead silent, because there's no fan inside it that I know of at all. But it does work, so this is the box that you need if you want to plug into a Mac. Pe I know that people have been asking me this same question, how do you get it into a separate computer? You need this box, but I don't think it's for sale in the West yet. It's kind of beginning of January now, so hopefully they'll start rolling it out in the West as soon as possible, but you could go ahead and order one from Japan if you wanted. They're about 8,600 yen, so find out how much that costs in your country, something like between 60, 50, 60 pounds, or maybe, I don't know, 80 dollars, that sort of thing. So there you have it, a very quick look at the Wacom Link for the Mobile Studio Pro. This does work, but it's a bit loud, and I will be looking up more things like you know, all the details, like how does performance vary between this and the actual just running the computer on its own. Can't understand why it's so loud, but anyway, if you have any questions or anything that you'd like me to test, do go ahead and leave me a comment, and don't forget to check out the reviews and other videos I've made about the Mobile Studio Pro. I'll put them somewhere, maybe here, I guess, and you can watch those. Don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel if you'd like to see more. See you next time. Hmm. Hmm.